weekly stimulus, October 9th through the 15th. In-house competitors, all of our demos and workout standards and flow charts are um, up on our YouTube page at Garden State Athletics on YouTube. So check those out. That will answer 99.9% .9 of your questions. All right, if you have any questions after you've watched the video, then come ask them. But if you didn't watch the video and you ask a question that we answer on the video, I will not answer it. All right, so please do your due diligence as Evelyn makes faces at me. Do your due diligence and, uh, and take some personal responsibility, okay? All right, today, cowboy stink. Yes, I know, don't say anything to me, okay? It's just gonna make me even more annoyed. All right, um, four minute AMRAP, six rounds, 24 minutes of work. There is a one minute break. It's really not a break. It's really just to resituate yourself um, you know, get your wits about yourself before you get back into the wall ball. 15 wall ball, 20 dumbbell snatch buy-in, time remaining, max distance on the machine. You choose a machine, you stay on there for the entire time. Use the machine as a break, all right, from a sense that you want to move at a good pace, all right, um, but you also want to be able to still be aggressive on the wall ball. Again, the wall ball should be a weight you can do unbroken, the dumbbell snatch must be a weight you can do unbroken. Um, if you're having to stop and put the dumbbell down and take a break, the weight is too heavy for you for a day like today. It is 120 dumbbell snatches. So make sure you're choosing a weight. Coaches, get on people to let them understand that volume is important on a workout like today. It's not about going heavy and slow. It's about going quickly and handling on uh, um, the volume. All right, Tuesday, week two, clean and jerk. All right, every three minutes times five. We're at four reps this week, so 20 <clears throat> total reps. Any clean and jerk is fine. Um, again, build off of last week if you were here. If you weren't, start light and then climb accordingly. Um, uh, but don't climb over like 75%, okay? All right, we're trying to get some quality reps here before we start getting heavier. All right, four time. Um, this is a one to 10 and a 10 to one. All right, so round number one is gonna go ahead and be one deadlift, 10 toe to bar. All right, when you're trying to understand a workout like this, when you're counting these rounds, just count up to 11. It's really simple, all right? I do one deadlift and then I count two, three, up to 11 on the toe to bar. Okay, that'll always know what round you're on. So just know what round you're on the deadlift all right, and then add up to 11. Okay, the only difference on this is people that are not doing toe to bar, okay? If you're doing knees to chest, you wanna go ahead and start at the round of 15 knee to chest. So one toe to bar, 15 knee to chest. Two toe to bar, 14 knee to chest, and so on, all right? Wednesday is day week two on thrusters. 119753. Again, we're looking to build in weight, all right? But the volume is up, so you're going to have to plan that accordingly. Afterwards, on Wednesday, we have a 13 minute AMRAP. It's six chest to bar or eight regular pull ups, 12 box jump overs, 18, 12 push ups, 24 crossovers, 36 double unders, or 50 singles, all right? Um, Thursday, all right, so Thursday's a little bit of a longer format. It's a one mile row, that's 1600 meters. That's guys and girls. There'll be no discount when we do meters uh, on this workout, all right? So mile row, 1600, 30 burpees over the bar, all right? 30, uh, I'm sorry, 800 meter row, 30 power snatches. Again, I would be smart on that. Maybe sets a quick six, you know, maybe six sets of five, depending on what you feel comfortable with. If the weight is light for you, you can be aggressive because you go on a run or a row after that. 800 meter run, 30 overhead squats, one mile run, 30 burpees over the bar. All right, if you're scaling outside of the weight, scale the run and row, do not scale the repetitions inside. All right, big classes. Obviously we don't have enough rowers for everybody and everybody will row, there'll be no biking. All you'll do is half the group will start on the row, 
and the other half starts on the run. So they'll go row, row, or run, run, and then run, run, or row, row, depending on where they started. All right? All right. Friday, Friday we have an eight-minute AMRAP. It has a three-minute break in between. All right? So it's almost a three-to-one. It's three wall walks. All right? And then you'll add a wall walk every rep. If you want to scale this workout, you start at one wall walk and add a wall walk every rep. It's six hang clean and jerks. It's six front squats. Those weights are 95 and 65 and they go down from there. Um, and then you'll get a, 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 a three minute rest. So the double unders go up by 10 um, and the wall walks go up by one. So round one is three, six, six, 30. Round two is four, six, six, 40. So it should not be hard for you to understand this one. All right. Five rounds for time on Saturday. All right. It's 21, 18, 15, 12, nine front squats. It's one, two, three, four, five rope climb. And it's a 400 meter run. So round one, 21 front squats. And you can squat clean rep one, one rope climb, run 400, 18, two, 400, 15, three, and so on. Okay. All right, Sunday is Coach Connor. You're gonna run, uh, do, uh, after the run, it's med ball cleans, it's wall ball sit-ups, it's wall ball, it's push up, it's wall walk, it's run. After that, he has a midline work. All right, you'll get a rest in between there and he will determine how much time you'll have between. Um, and that is Sunday. That is our week. Good talk.